What is going on Hunter's Death here and today we're going to be breaking down even more information regarding Cole Taroth. As we know she just got released with the master rank version allowing us to take our weapons to new heights. Very much like the Safi Jiva Awakening we are now able to take our past Cole Taroth and Kajar weapons to new levels of strength. For this you want to come to the smithy and go to upgrade weapons. You will want to look for one of your Taroth or Kajar weapons. Once you do this, you will be able to use Kulp Taroth materials from the newly introduced Master Rank Kulp Taroth event quest where you have to take out Kulp Taroth to actually level up your weapons and get them to Rarity Rank 12 and Level 5. Now, this is very important to know, you can use materials from Kulp Taroth but it has to be Master Rank. So what does this upgrade actually do? Obviously raises your attack, your rarity level, your elemental damage and your defense bonuses but on top of that it unlocks specific skills. For the Kajar weapons it's critical and elemental status boost and for the regular Taroth weapons you get one point into Kulv Taroth essence allowing you to mix and match these weapons in endgame now and do incredible amounts of damage and let me tell you these weapons are very very good. Now, we're not done, there's one more thing you guys are definitely gonna wanna know. If you're looking to get yourself more Kulv Taroth weapons or regular Kajar weapons because that's what's in style right now, especially with that ice element, you know what I'm saying? What you can do is come to the Elder Melder, go to Awakening Alchemy, and here you will be able to do the Kulv Alchemy for the lower rank weapons and the Kajar Alchemy for the higher rank weapons. All you're gonna have to do is trade in Kulv Taroth materials. So you don't even have to do the siege at this point, you can just do the official master rank mission, get a whole bunch of resources, trade these things in, and you'll be able to get yourself a whole bunch of weapons in case you don't wanna farm them from the siege yourself. Overall it's a really, really nice function. I actually went out of my way to try to get some of the um, Kajar weapons because there's some really, really good ones. And I will be showing you some of my roles after this. I will be going to farm more Kulv Taroth because it's incredibly cool. There's more things to be done. And overall, this is a really nice feature that just got added. That's all the risk to this video, guys. I wanted to break down the Kulv Taroth upgrade, you know, guide as best as I could in a really quick, short to the point video. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit notifications bell join our discord don't forget and if you have any questions or you want me to cover anything in particular let me know for now your boy death gun out